Okay, ready? All right, so today we're in Up at Robertson. If this is the address that you've been hunting for in the District 9 locale, 7.2 meters lost space, two bed plus study, 1119 square feet layout. We have seven units here that's available, developer CDL. Let's have a deep dive on Up and Robertson. Follow me. So this project was being completed 2016. Lease starts from 2011, 99's leasehold. This is actually a very special project because Up at Robertson was launched in conjunction with M Social Hotel right beside us. But you don't share any facilities with the hotel. You have fantastic facilities on level four, just at the two huge pool, as well as a floating gymnasium right towards the corner. You gotta enjoy these full-fledged facilities with just 70 units here. Low density development, but at the same time, you own a fantastic address right in the heart of Singapore. So this portion of D9 is towards the River Valley Belt, Robertson Key Belt. A lot of people love to live here because not only do you get to enjoy the bistros and the restaurants and Muhammad Sultan, the Robertson Key area, but you still get to enjoy the beautiful Singapore River that's flanking towards the back. Singapore River right here links you directly towards Clark Key towards the back. It links you towards the front whereby you get to walk towards Great World City. So it's actually a very beautiful part which is less dense but not very busy. So a lot of people love to live here because they want to have the quietness, but at the same time, they want to live in the heart of city. I'm going to talk about the law first. 7.2 meters ceiling height at the living area. Have a look at this. Not many developers will actually give you the furniture deck, but most importantly, this is not a furniture deck that's just created like plug and play version. This comes with a lot of built-in features at the bottom, so you can utilize this as a bookcase tons of storage area. So it comes with a glass panel on one end, metal railings on the other end, a lot of space right here for storage. This are additional space that you can utilize even at the bottom right here, there's pull out, soft closure. So very well thought after by developer. A lot of all these like mobile system that allows you to hook and hang things, you can utilize as shoe cabinets, you can put in like your umbrellas. Over here as well, just have a look at this. Of course, if you're wondering what is so unique about Loft. Now, number one, if you look at the entire site distribution and stack layout, there are normal units here, one plus study, one beta, two betas. If you look at some of these L portions right here, these are the unique loft spaces that you get to see. And this is one of the units that I'm standing in. Most of the penthouses at the top, these are the only units with the high loft space. Because of the fact that there's no more like duplex with a roof terrace or triplexes, most developers would then leave only the top level units to have that high ceiling loft space. The rest of the units are all normal units. So this belongs to one of the era that you still get a chance to own a unit with this cathedral effect. Because you are not front facing towards the major Robertson or River Valley Road, you don't get a lot of road noise. It's just a small one lane street at the bottom area. Now, let me just show you upstairs first. Furniture that has already been provided for you. Furniture decks usually occupies about five square meters. The unique feature is that here, you have your own dedicated window towards the side. This, of course, is uh, an ID treatment over here. Allow you to see what you can potentially do. This is like a Murphy bed system. Most people utilize this like kids play zone if you have children. It can be like a bookcase area where you can come up here, do your quiet study. You can also utilize this as a home office. Potentially, you can also glass this entire portion upwards because you have a dedicated AC right here. If you want to put in like a sliding panel door, that can be done. So this can be a sort of like a third bedroom or it can be like a full-on study room. If you want to keep it open like this, I think that's fine as well. And you can look downwards to this uh, living and dining area. Let us head downstairs. Kitchen is well thought after with a lot of storage space on both directions. Towards this main panel here, you already have the top and bottom. It comes with a full-on oven. European brands, Reginald Sink. You have your own washer cup dryer right at the bottom here. You also have like pull-outs here that allows you to put in all your cutleries. Little mini connecting island over here. You also have top storages towards this direction. I love the thoughtfulness that you have this little panel here for like a breakfast table zone. Mm -hmm. 
dining space over there, four seater. Of course, in a two bedroom version, you don't want to expect like a super huge dining space. But nowadays, there's a lot of like customized furniture that is doubling up as a sofa lounge as well as a dining table towards the back. If you notice, there's a high stool and high table right outside overlooking towards the pool deck. And over here, this is like an ID treatment function for you to visualize swivel kind of TV console panel. But if you want to build a full panel, that is possible as well. This is actually like a dual system that allows you to open up an entire space if you want to use it as like a hosting area or you want to utilize this as open study. So this is actually the second bedroom that has like a doubling effect. It comes with a Murphy bed already given, mini wardrobe space right towards this direction. Of course, there's a cabinet there for you to store in this sliding panel as well. So if you want to keep it closed all the time, that's also perfect. Smaller room that allows you to put in a single bed. If you're wondering how much is the loft space at the top, there's about 20 odd square meters, about 270 square feet at the top. So living it with the entire floor plate at the bottom, about 800 plus square feet, including the balcony. So this home is asking for 2.4 million negotiable. One thing that you need to do as a home buyer in today's market is to look at these three components. The very first component is to look at how new launches are faring in the rest of Singapore in 2023. Second component is to look at the resale prices around this area. Third component is to look at how new launches are doing in the same district that you're buying to. So if you were to look at some of the OCR and RCR pricing for new launches, 99 years, they're averagely doing between $2,000 to $2,500 per square foot. If you look at Lantor era, it's about $2,000 to $2,002. D15 era, some of the 99s like Grand Dunman, Tembusu Grand, they're averaging at about $2,400 to $2,600. $2,005 multiplied by at least 800 square feet, it already crosses the $2 million. If you want to get like a 900 square feet version at $2,005 PSF, that will really bring you to close to about $2.2 million. If you look at the OCR zoning, at about 1.8 to 2 mil or about $2.1 million. So nowadays, in order to get like a good size 2 bed or 2 plus study, you are looking at around the $2 million range for a new launch 99 years OCR, RCR zoning. Now, coming back to the new launches that are doing within the 99 years, if you want to compare the District 9 new launches as well as the resale that is ongoing in this zoning, it will then be beneficial to look at the overall quantum price. That means if this home is asking for $2.4 million, what other choices can you get for $2.4 million? And with that other choices, can you actually get like a lost space that has a totality of 1119 square feet? Bearing the fact that uh, it is currently available immediately without having to wait for tenancy to expire, there's of course another benefit that you can look at. Meantime, let's go to the master. have a common bath here. So the 1119 square feet is actually pretty well spread out because you feel the spaciousness, you do feel that it's small. Most important, the fittings and fixtures are quality brands. Flooring wise, full on white marble. You have three panels of wardrobe space. This is a queen, by the way, with two side tables. Allows you to go up to king if you want to. Flipping over, you have like a mini study zone area. Very hotel-like kind of ensuite system. Alright, so I think it's also important to look at the evolvement of how two bathers has evolved through the last 15 years. So in the past, if you were to look at some of the older projects, most two bathers, they will be at least about 1,002 to 1,003 square feet. Single floor plate, no balcony, or with very little balcony space, but most of the time you have a lot more space within the living area. Those eras was also very popular with split living and dining. So as we evolve, we then move on to like a eight to 900 square feet version of a two bed, two bath model. Most of the time, you have like an elongated shape living dining as well as the kitchen zoning and that is fronting towards a single balcony space. There were also eras whereby you have larger balconies that are spreading from your living, common room as well as your master room. Now we're in the season where two bed one bath at about 600 odd square feet or two bed two bath maximizing probably at about 700 square feet but usually it is not even touching towards the 
8 or 900 square feet version unless it's a 2 plus study model. I think if you're somebody that's looking for uniqueness, then this kind of floor plate might suit you. You have this very open zoning of your living dining space that is cornered with an L corner balcony towards the back, giving you a dual view kind of function. 7.2 meter ceiling giving you the cathedral effect. Open kitchen concept with an island right in the middle. Stairway at the side that's doubling up as dual storage. And of course, you have a single six panel storage right towards the entrance zone. Common bath that's tucked towards the corner. Your walkway towards your bedroom doesn't eat up a lot of space and it still is part of a living area. So if you're looking for something that's very unique, then loft units, I think, is something of a beautiful rarity. If you're wondering how is the rental doing here, the usual one bathers here, they are doing at about 4,000 plus to maybe about $5,000 depending on the level of furnishings. Just in the Q2 portion of 2023, there was like a loft unit that's being tenanted at about $6,600. In terms of rental you, it's pretty decent. A lot of families also ran here because they want to get into River Valley Primary School. They're also within a kilometer for three MRT stations. So last but not least, if you want to have a look at this place, give Sebastian and Michaela a call. They'll be very happy to arrange a physical viewing appointment for you. The numbers are all right here. Do remember, of course, to subscribe to our Procter & Brothers social media channels, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And once again, my name is Mel Willem. Thank you for joining us on this home tour in District 9 at Up at Robertson. We'll see you on the next home tour. Cheers. Uh, I think Bowling Hill is that corner. Why angle that one? Welcome, 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 welcome. Test one, two, three. Okay. So uh, Bowling Hill is from the door. Glide to line. Behind the glass. Ah. Sorry.